Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's good? What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? All right, so basically, if you didn't read today's title, if you just clicked on my video because you were curious, or you clicked on my video because of the title, today, 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 do you not mind my nails? Today, 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 we will be talking about Howard University. Yes, the college that I go to, the one, the only, HU. You know, you already know what it is. You already know the vibes. Um, if you're wondering, I'm class of 2024. Um, my name's Corrine Gong. If you don't already know, it's on my channel. And currently, I am a chemistry major. I'm a freshman chemistry major uh, from Maryland. Yes, sir. That is my intro. I haven't perfected it yet because I haven't been able to get the chance. I have not had the chance to use it and get it perfected. But that is that. Today, we will be talking about multiple things. Multiple things about Howard University. First, we're going to go hard. We're going to go hard in Howard University. We're going to talk about the thing I hate the most about Howard University. That's the first thing we're going to talk about. Then we're going to talk about classes. We're going to talk about classes. Professors, classes, all that jizz. Education. Then we're going to talk about social life. That's the last thing I want to talk about in this video. First thing, the thing I hate the most about Howard University is their seriousness, okay? Not in seriousness as, oh, they do this and that, don't allow their students. No, the opposite. I literally have, it literally takes two weeks for them to do a simple thing, for them to do a simple thing, okay? This whole semester, I have been calling every single day, doing stuff to verify my my taxes that I have already been verified multiple times, but they kept coming back and was like, no, it's not verified, it's not good, it's not good. The whole semester, and now it's almost the second semester and they're not verified yet. They have not been reimbursed into my account. So Howard University, if you're watching this, please, 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 please put it in there so I can register for my classes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, uh, Howard University just, like, if you want things done, like, seriously, if you want things done, bro, expect for that to be, expect for it to take a long time. Expect for you to be ra running around, keep calling them. They keep telling you to do this, do that, but it's not even what they need you to do. Just know that. And this is off of online only. Off of online. Imagine how horrible it is in person, bruh. And you keep calling them. My my advice for that, if you ever go running through troubles, because you probably will. Like, a lot of people had troubles with them, like, in the beginning, just registering, just getting things done, figuring out why their credits haven't transferred and all that. It will literally take a while. So don't expect anything to come really, really fast. So, yeah. That's the thing I hate the most about Howard University. Now, the next thing is classes, all that. Bro, let me tell you, if you're a chemistry student or if you're any type of science student, I really feel so sorry for you. I, I'm currently a chemistry major. I want to change it. Um, but uh, chemistry is hard. <laughs> it is hard, especially if you don't get the right professor. It is hard. But all chemistry professors are trash, to be honest. They're literally all trash. Unless you, like, some of them, they're just trash to, like, all the way through. But some of them, you literally have to go to office hours all the time. You'll figure that out when you enter college if you have not entered into Howard University yet. And you are a person who is interested. Just to know, just let, just so you know, if you have to take chemistry, just, just be warned. Just also, 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 please, for your first, I would recommend for your first semester, if you really want to, if you change, like, if you're in your first semester and you're like, bro, this major is not it, but you still want to be in, like, the general field of what you, like, for me, my chemistry major was not it for me, but I still want to be the major of, like, sciences, get a nice major that include sciences but like it's not that is not the major you want but you need to research this so research this over your winter break or just research first semester second semester take that time 
to be in your major and just really research on other majors so you know like which one you really want to be in because you don't want to keep switching majors and having to retake classes that you've like that don't meet the requirements you know what i mean it's just a waste of time so just just do that okay classes bro first semester you're not gonna be able the first first semester there are basic classes they're just the basic classes you're not gonna be able to pick a professor that's terrible i know but you won't be able to do that unless you withdraw from all your classes and re you know put in your classes um but i will tell you one thing this the semester that first of all the semester that you are going to classes are a whole different thing bro let me let me tell you classes are a whole different thing registering for classes i recommend that after you get picked for your classes that right from the start you start figuring out exactly what order you want all your requirements to be in and like know how you want to have your classes and then like for two two three weeks before like registration for the next semester bruh look at every single class look at every single teacher that you have to take look at rate my professor look at all of that go in make sure you make the times right make everything good for you look at the classes make sure that it's not bro i'm telling you right now do that because the first semester you don't have control over that this second semester you have control and you don't want to be putting yourself in classes like that with the professors that do not mend with how you study you want to put yourself in professors that are like that now currently because i can't register because of what howard university is doing i can't do that so i don't have the option so i'm telling you right now if nothing like what's happening to me because i know it's happening to, to like a lot of people not a lot of people but like some people i know it's happening to as well but let me tell you just don't don't put yourself through that stress bruh pick out your classes beforehand and know what you want because if you're a freshman you get last pick <laughs> you literally get last picks so know what you want have three backups three backups at least three backups three backup schedules also be prepared for howard universe for bison web which is what um all you howard university students use to you know check on their account do all the classes they need to do it's a website basically for like basically everything you need for school um Make, just be aware that bison web will crash so you need to be you need to be there early pick out your classes early so that you get into your classes that you want um there's a certain time when it opens be there when it is because it will crash um also school wise if you are a high school student who are, is just now going into college let me tell you it is not like high school it is not bad it's it's basically okay if you're an honor student or an AP student, it's basically the same type of work. It's the same type of work, except the t in high school, the teacher gives you the information. Like the teacher does the basic information and then gives you worksheets to work it out, do all this stuff so that you really understand. College is not like that. They won't give you material. They will, uh, uh, they will, give you not mandatory material that you need to turn in they'll give you material where it's like do this so that you know you can't understand it but it's not mandatory do that shit when they say that you should do it do it do it because you will end up missing information and they'll take stuff that's on the test that's on that non-mandatory material and put it on the test and then you're gonna fail for what you could have done the material yes now we're gonna move on to social life. Like, I, um, you guys don't know, but I have a friend who went to Howard University a year before I did, and they live relative, like, really, really close. They live in the same neighborhood as me. So, not neighborhood, they live in the same town as me. And they live really close. Um, but legit, legit social life at Howard, how this how is the best part the best part of howard is meeting new people finding new people finding your new group finding your like the people who make you you like that is literally howard university i went to howard university 
I went to their basketball games with my uncle who works at Howard University and all that. And I went with my brother and my friend. And it's like the environment is fire. Like there, I don't have any complaints of Howard itself and the people themselves. I have complaints about how they do certain things, you know, in the systems and how they turn things on. Like, you know, that's the type of stuff that I explained earlier in the video. But Howard University is legit fire. It is fire socially making new friends if you if you want to go to college make new friends make new memories make make basically make a new life for yourself make lifelong friends our university is literally the place to be it is literally so large the amount of people i mean you can do this with any type of thing but i grew up where as a little kid i spend a lot of time around black people like like black people i couldn't keep in contact with them like i didn't i wasn't able to keep in contact with them because i was a kid i don't have contact with any of those people um so i moved middle of elementary school uh went to another place which was primarily mostly white had a few black people but it was ghetto i don't want to it was it was ghetto like when i tell you it was ghetto it was ghetto people were stabbing a girl stabbed some girl like 17 times or more because of because she liked her boyfriend like it was come on it was ghetto and also the people there were just not not it not bashing i enjoyed my memories there but like mm, hmm, yeah no um didn't keep in contact with those people first of all i tried to keep in contact they didn't keep in contact so i mean i still have their socials and stuff but it's like we don't talk, we don't do that. Went to uh, middle school at a different school. Was only there for a year so I didn't make, well, like I had friends, I had a group of friends, but it's like I was not there long enough for us to really build a friendship. So, didn't make that. Then my whole life at high school was in a racist town with white people. Now you imagine to my surprise when I find there's a school that has all black, all different types of black people who may or may not have gone through my situations where I can find my best friends, my friend group, I can find my lifelong friends there and literally learn more about black culture because I'm a first, like because I'm African, like I don't know about American black culture. Like I, when I walk around in, when I walk around like the world, people put me immediately as a black American, but I'm African. So I am a black, I'm, per, I'm viewed as a black American walking through society and I feel and I understand and I literally live through what they live through but I have never been in the presence of black, American black culture. I've dibbled and dabbled, I've seen, I've seen, but it wasn't, you know, so when I got to Howard University and I saw the, the way they moved, I already knew where I was supposed to go. I already knew where I was supposed to go, okay? I already knew where I was supposed to go. So what I'm saying, Howard University is great for social. If you are thinking that you're not gonna make friends, come see me when I'm at Howard University if the, the freaking campus is locked down. I will be your friend. If you don't have any friends, I will literally be your friend, okay? All right? I don't like having like, I don't like people being like, like when they're trying to make friends and no one wants to be friends, I will be friends with you, okay? I will literally be friends with you. Come to me on campus if you ain't got no other friends, okay? I will literally put you under my wing. Uh, okay. Um, that's basically it. The three categories I want to talk about. That was it. That was zitty, zitty, zitty. That was it. And um, yes, hope you guys like this video. Howard, if you're watching, I said good things about you. Don't worry. I said good things about you. I said good things about you. But I will continue to make another video like this after the semester okay okay um yes sir yes sir i'll see you guys uh in my next video here you guys like comment share subscribe follow my socials if you want to contact me talk me up if you want any more questions about howard university call me up i will talk to you you can dm me on instagram
right? Yes. And yeah, that'll be it. I hope you guys have a great week this week. And I'll see you guys on Friday at the end of the week. All right. Or at the end of the school week. So, uh, yeah. Peace. 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 <laughs> Bye, guys.